Dad got four tenths of rain at his house last night, and I can't tell you how much we got here because JD ran over the rain gauge like two days ago, and I didn't, I didn't bother to go rip one off of another place I had it. So we don't know how much we got here, and that's okay. Okay, not recording my uh, pull-up sticks. I'm wearing a crop top, and once I'm like fully extended, there's just simply too much stomach for the internet to be showing. Um, but I did eight in a row, so I got seven more to go, but eight in a row felt pretty dang good. I'm moving some equipment around. JD is looking at the bins and greasing the combine, and Dad is meeting with the plumbers to see if we can get my water pump fixed in my house or if I need to get a new one. Okay, potentiometer. Yep. There you go. Gotta love them. <laughs> the flower moves back and forth. It puts 12 volts in, reads zero to five. Now, can I squeeze it or not? So glad that we got a second opinion on the water pump because he just needed to prime it and it was good to go. So, uh, this is the normal people that we use. We used a different company since it was the weekend and that person apparently did not know what they were doing. So that's fantastic. Now I just need to learn how to prime a water pump that is 65 years old. Um, so we don't have to call someone to do it next time. running hot we're going to check the gear case oil on it put some more oil in it make sure it is all good Markets are up today a little bit. So I made two small contracts, one for beans, one for corn for January. Um, I put a bid in for January as well. I'm holding off on fall priced stuff, um, even though it's actually like higher than what I contracted for, which is like so pathetic of me. Um, but oh well, um, I don't know. Might wait a couple hours and just spot out a little bit make a make contract for a little bit more because i think we're gonna have a little bit of overage on beans and i think we're gonna have a little bit of overage on corn so maybe if i make those contracts now before we get into the heart of the season um it'll be a little bit higher who knows probably whatever i do it will be wrong because <laughs> that's my uh, track record Dad and JD went to lunch. It is seven minutes past noon now. Uh, I made sure I was paid up on all of my bills, answered some emails. Now I'm just waiting around for them to get here and then we're gonna try to shell some corn. It is still pretty dang dreary out. We wanted things to kind of dry off, but not happening, uh, not happening too quickly. we have to cross it's a four-lane highway to get to this field but uh, I'm parked seatbelt on just waiting it is 12 40 we just got to the field getting started okay, that is all gummed up in that same spot I don't know cobs are pretty moist leaving some corn on the ground too Now, this is one of those fields that we did not spray for tar spot. And I mean, these ears, this is like one of the only few fields where I think the ears look genuinely pretty pathetic. I mean, every once in a while there will be a decent ear, but I would say the decent ears are more of the anomaly. I mean, just lots of duds too. And you 
can kind of see that infection is all over the whole plant. Okay, so on the snout piece where we changed that gear oil for the uh, stock roller and the chain, it's still, it's gummed up like three times when you pull it out and then reverse it and stuff, it, it becomes unclogged, but it's definitely not functioning normal. Um, and I don't know if it's just getting worse by the fact that like it's still pretty sticky out here, um, but the other rows aren't gumming up. So we're just gonna have to see what happens. Worst case scenario, I still have my other header in the shop. We can go put it on and then if we need to change that gear case, uh, fix anything on this header, we can do that during a rain delay. Um, perk of having an extra corn head. We don't have any backups of any other equipment. Um, so we have a backup plan, which is always nice. Okay, so it's gonna take a little bit of work to get the other header on. This one doesn't have any guidance, so we'll have to drive it, which is fine. We've done that for a long time. And then we'll just um, assess the gearbox on the other header when we get a chance when things slow down, when it rains, probably tomorrow. Okay, we're at the field. The new head, well, old head is running. Time to sit in the upper cart and have a cookie. I stuck this in my pocket a while ago. It was frozen, so it hasn't melted. It's like a reward. It is 2.03. We are rocking and rolling, opening up this field. Um, from what I can see in Op Center, moisture 16.7. I will take that straight to the elevator, baby. Okay, so our old head just does not cut things off quite as evenly. But... Okay, so this is where our old header is running. You can just see it's like big pieces of stock um, kind of all throughout. Whereas the gearing hop really cuts it up into fine pieces. Okay, so since this corn is so dry, I think I'm gonna haul it directly into the elevator. So it's like about 2.30 now. They close at five, which is annoying, but um, I can haul maybe one, two loads there. From what it looks like on there, uh, truck line it doesn't can't they have like a camera of the truck line um it looks like no one's in line right now um so hoping that's true hope i can get a load or two in i just pulled into the elevator there's only one truck ahead of me which is huge no waiting in line it's probably because it's early in the season but this is awesome Okay, back to the field. I passed Greg on the road. They're dumping on the go. This 16 acre field should be off pretty dang soon. It is one minute before 4 p.m. I'm hoping I can be loaded by 4.30 so I can make one more trip. And that ticket, the moisture was 14.6. There was one point of damage and one point of foreign material. Um, but the 14.6 is crazy. Just last year, I'm not sure if it ever got below 20%. The fact that it's below what it needs to be is pretty wild, pretty wild. Um, I don't think I've experienced such dry corn before. And it's just such a juxtaposition between last year. So the market's down and yields down. At least we get this little silver lining of um, some dry corn to start us off. We have yogurt and cottage cheese, and I think this is going to be the least appetizing meal of the season. Okay, it is our third load overall here. My second load, this will be the last one because they're closing in 10 minutes. Then it's going into the overhead.
sample looks pretty good. I'm doing my uh, part for any ear found on the ground. Every kernel counts, right? Got this 16 acres off. Now we're starting this field. We moved and now it's like 17 to 18% moisture. So we are going to start drying it down. So I'm going to truck, JD's going to dry. We're going to run as long as we can because we're getting rain. How many times have I said that? I'm probably going to have to edit that out a whole bunch of times. I am just trekking, so going back and forth and back and forth from the shop. Just grabbed my Mexican leftovers for my dinner. And uh, things are going pretty good. Okay, just as I got to this field, cart is full, combine just shelled up to the top. I will be full on this load. So, got close, got close to them having to wait around, but they didn't have to. So it is 7.40 now. George said that he is willing to work till 8 p.m. So I'm gonna switch him out in the combine and we'll see how we'll get along with the crew of three. I am only slightly nervous to run the combine just because I haven't ran this header in two years. And um, I mean, we always, I always drive it when I'm opening up a field. It's pretty simple. I'm simply gonna have to just remind myself to keep paying attention. concern me. I hope that the rain comes easily and um, isn't super hard. And they're kind of tipping over more towards the like the top. I don't know. I, I haven't actually gotten out and like looked at them. It's just like what I can see visually from up here. Um, but we definitely have just a little bit of stocks going down. So I'll definitely want to come back to this field. I'll definitely want to make sure any other fields where we have this variety we are scouting because uh, picking up corn off the ground is never fun. So you can see a little bit down here. Now I think some of this too is also raccoon damage, but like throughout the full field, every once in a while there will just be a little bit that's down. So I think the other side is going to be a little bit higher moisture. I think we're getting close to that area. Okay, it is 11.06. This is going to be our last load of the day. It is raining. We're headed back to the shop now.
is midnight on the dot. I am going to bed.